Moments ago, the world was stunned. Dr. Daniel Nemes, the brilliant scientist, mysteriously disappeared after revealing a revolutionary device. that let humans glimpse into other dimensions. His invention, a machine he named Energy Vision, claimed to show entities from parallel realities, creatures existing beyond the boundaries of human perception. Could it be that Dr. Neem saw too much? Let us explore the dark secrets he discovered about this unsettling visitor who came with only one mission in mind. The hidden dimensions beyond our reality. Dr. Nemes believed that the universe was not limited to the three-dimensional space we inhabit. His invention, Energy Vision, was based on advanced technology that utilized special lenses and sunlight to detect energies from beyond our dimension. According to Nemes, these energies manifested in the form of strange, ethereal figures, beings with elongated limbs and translucent shapes. These beings defied conventional science and appeared in ways that challenged our understanding of biology and physics. The energy vision device worked by capturing images of entities from other dimensions, using a combination of optical principles and NEM's unique screen technology. The images were unsettling and mystifying. Some looked like ghostly apparitions, others like abstract forms that hovered between the visible and the unseen. If Nemi's discoveries were true, they would have proven the existence of parallel worlds, confirming theories of multiple dimensions long speculated by physicists. Despite the exciting possibilities of his work, Dr. Nemi's faced skepticism from the scientific community. Many scientists dismissed the images as errors, environmental effects, or even pareidolia, where the brain tricks us into seeing familiar shapes like faces, in random patterns. Still, Nemes persisted, publishing more than 1,000 photographs on social media platforms like Facebook, hoping to convince the world that his device was real. He attracted a curious audience, and while some believed him, others mocked or insulted his work. The real twist in Nemes' story came after he revealed his research. In a strange turn of events, he disappeared without a trace. His sudden vanishing only deepened the mystery around his work. Was it possible that he had been silenced by powerful forces that didn't want the world to know about his discoveries? Could it be that his invention posed a threat to the established scientific order? Or had he simply gone too far in his pursuit of the unknown? Dr. Neems' work remains part of the larger human quest to understand reality. The idea that our universe might be just one of many, each filled with its own life forms, has fascinated scientists and dreamers for generations. If proven, his device could offer tangible evidence of other realities, transforming our understanding of the cosmos. As we continue to explore the vastness of space and the complexities of physics, the story of Dr. Daniel Nemes serves as a reminder that there is still much we do not know and much more left to discover. So what really happened to Dr. Daniel Nemes? Is his invention the key to unlocking new dimensions or is it a modern mystery destined to remain unsolved? The questions he raised about our place in the universe linger, keeping the curious among us captivated by the possibilities his work presents. Dr. Nemes strange disappearance left people wondering about the hidden worlds he was trying to show us. But his story wasn't the only one like this. A few years later, another scientist, Dr. Alexander Vanin, also vanished after showing a device that could see other dimensions, making people question our understanding of the universe even more. Another victim of multidimensional truths. In the year 2022, Dr. Alexander Venin, a smart scientist who studied space and time, suddenly disappeared from his lab in the Swiss Alps. 
He went missing just a few days after telling some of his fellow scientists that he had made a new invention that could help people see creatures from other dimensions. Venin had spent years studying the idea of different worlds and dimensions that we cannot see, but this new invention, called the Interdimensional Scope, was his biggest discovery yet. For a long time, Venin thought that creatures living in other dimensions might be responsible for strange things that happen in our world, like weird scientific events or ghost sightings. He believed these creatures could move through our world without us noticing and could change things in ways we don't understand. While most scientists did not agree with him, some people who liked unusual ideas were interested. The interdimensional scope was said to work by changing tiny particles in a way that let the person using it see into other hidden dimensions. Venin believed this invention could prove that there are living beings we cannot see, creatures that may have been with humans for a long time without us ever knowing. In his last notes, Venin even suggested that these creatures might be watching us and secretly affecting our world. Three days before he disappeared, Venin showed his invention to a special group of scientists in Geneva. People who saw him said he seemed both excited and worried, like he had found something amazing, but also scary. He used the divas and said he saw beings of pure energy, moving between dimensions and watching us, but staying just out of reach. Even though Venin was very serious, the other scientists didn't believe him. They thought it was just his imagination or a mistake in his work. Despite their doubts, Venin went back to his lab to keep working. Then on the morning of October 15th, 2022, Venin's assistant arrived at the lab and found it empty. All of Venin's notes, journals, and even the interdimensional scope were gone. There were no signs of a struggle, but on his desk was a strange note that said, they're watching. The police searched the mountains and nearby villages, but Venin had vanished without any clues. Since then, people have come up with many ideas about what happened to him. Some think the government took him, while others believe he opened a door to another dimension and either walked through it or was taken by the beings he was studying. Today, Venin's invention is missing and nobody knows what really happened to him. Many people wonder if he finally saw something too powerful or frightening for humans to understand. The mystery of Dr. Alexander Venin and his interdimensional scope still fascinates scientists and dreamers. One thing is clear, the line between science and the unknown is thinner than we ever thought. Dr. Venin's strange disappearance and his invention, the interdimensional scope, made people wonder about what might exist beyond our world. In a similar way, Dr. Gray's work with the dimensional viewer showed that there might be hidden things we can't understand, leading to scary results. Both scientists disappeared without a trace, making us think about how close we might be to discovering things that could be too dangerous for us to know. Ripped from reality, Dr. Alexander Gray was a brilliant physicist known for his unconventional theories about the universe. He believed that the dimensions we live in, the three spatial dimensions and one time dimension, were only a small fraction of reality. According to him, there were other dimensions beyond our comprehension, home to beings and forces that we couldn't perceive with our limited human senses. Driven by his desire to prove the existence of these dimensions, Dr. Gray embarked on an ambitious project that would ultimately consume his life. The device that Dr. Gray created was unlike anything the world had ever seen. He called it the Dimensional Viewer, a complex machine that supposedly allowed its user to see into these higher dimensions and observe the entities that resided there. The creation of the device took years of intense research and experimentation. Gray drew inspiration from the work of historical figures 
like John Dee and Edward Kelly, whose mystical explorations and attempts to communicate with spiritual beings fascinated him. John Dee, a famous mathematician and occultist from the 16th century, and his associate Edward Kelly had claimed to contact angels and beings from other realms using a secret language called Enochian. The Enochian language, created in the late 16th century by John Dee and Edward Kelly, was said to be a divine tool granted by angels. These beings from other dimensions whispered this mysterious tongue during Dee and Kelly's scrying sessions, where Kelly peered into a crystal to receive their messages. Enochian, which is often called the language of the angels, was meant to connect humanity with the celestial realms, unlocking hidden knowledge, divine wisdom, and even supernatural powers. But what if this ancient language wasn't a gift, but a test, or even a mission against humanity? Could these beings from other dimensions have an agenda that is far beyond human comprehension, aiming to manipulate the course of history and humanity's fate? Dee and Kelly believed they were working to bring forth a new era of enlightenment, even claiming their magical work could change the political landscape of Europe and herald the apocalypse itself. Perhaps these angels, or multiverse beings, had their own plans for humanity, a plan woven through cryptic language and cosmic forces. Dr. Gray saw parallels between their spiritual pursuits and his scientific investigations. He hypothesized that the beings Dee and Kelly claimed to communicate with were, in fact, multidimensional entities, beings that existed beyond the boundaries of our known universe. After years of tireless work, Dr. Gray finally completed the Dimensional Viewer. His first tests were done in secret, with only a handful of trusted colleagues aware of the project. According to these colleagues, Dr. Gray's initial experiments yielded astonishing results. He claimed to have seen glimpses of strange, formless entities, beings that moved in ways that defied the laws of physics. They appeared as shadows of light and energy, constantly shifting and changing, like flickers from another world. However, not all of Gray's observations were positive. He soon started to report strange occurrences, hearing whispers, seeing figures out of the corner of his eye, and feeling an unsettling presence in his lab. His notes became erratic, with increasingly disturbing descriptions of the beings he had supposedly contacted. He wrote about their immense intelligence and hinted that they were aware of him watching them. His once orderly mind seemed to spiral into chaos as the line between reality and these unseen realms blurred. Then one day, Dr. Gray vanished. The last time anyone saw Dr. Gray was at his lab, working late into the night on further tests with the dimensional viewer. The following morning, his lab was found in disarray. The device was intact, but Dr. Gray was gone. There was no sign of struggle, no evidence of foul play. It was as if he had simply stepped out of reality and disappeared. His colleagues, though shocked, initially assumed he had gone into hiding or fled due to the overwhelming pressure of his work. But as days turned into weeks and weeks into months, it became clear that something far stranger had occurred. Investigations yielded no clues and there was no trace of Dr. Gray anywhere in the world. Dr. Gray's disappearance has fueled a wide range of theories. Some believe that he was driven mad by his experiments and in a moment of mental collapse, he ran away, perhaps never to be seen again. Others suggest that he faked his own disappearance to escape the consequences of his dangerous research. But the most intriguing and terrifying theory is that Dr. Gray's dimensional viewer worked too well. According to this theory, Dr. Gray didn't just observe the multidimensional beings, he made contact with them. The beings sensing his intrusion may have responded by pulling him into their realm. Perhaps they viewed him as a threat 
or perhaps they were simply curious. Whatever the reason, Dr. Gray may now be trapped in a dimension beyond our understanding, unable to return. Since Dr. Gray's disappearance, the dimensional viewer has been locked away, deemed too dangerous for further experimentation. Many scientists and researchers have tried to access it, hoping to continue Gray's work, but the authorities have refused, citing the mysterious circumstances surrounding his vanishing. Despite this, whispers of Gray's work have continued to spread throughout the scientific community. Some believe that his research holds the key to unlocking the deepest secrets of the universe. Others warn that attempting to peer into realms beyond our own could have dire consequences. This story of Dr. Gray and his dimensional viewer taps into a deep human fascination with the unknown. Throughout history, figures like John Dee, Edward Kelly, and even more modern thinkers like Gustav Theodor Fechner have attempted to bridge the gap between the physical world and the spiritual or unseen realms. Fechner, a philosopher and psychologist, argued that reality extended far beyond what our senses could detect. His ideas of cosmic consciousness align eerily with Dr. Gray's theories of multidimensional beings. Whether these unseen realms exist or not, and whether beings from these dimensions could ever interact with our world, remains a mystery. But one thing is clear, Dr. Gray's work and his unexplained disappearance will continue to fuel speculation for years to come. Perhaps one day, someone brave or foolish enough will attempt to recreate the dimensional viewer, and the secrets of those otherworldly beings will finally be revealed. Until then, the story of the scientist who vanished after creating a device to see multidimensional beings remains a haunting reminder of the dangers of exploring the unknown. Sometimes, in the pursuit of knowledge, we may end up uncovering truths that are too strange, too powerful, and too dangerous for us to comprehend. What happens when we push science too far? In the year 1931, the world saw the birth of Roger Penrose, a British mathematician and physicist whose work would one day challenge the very foundations of science. Throughout his long career, Penrose explored some of the most puzzling mysteries of the universe, including the nature of space and time and the complex workings of human consciousness. Known for his creative and unconventional thinking, he often introduced ideas that made people rethink the way they understood the world around them. But what if one day, Penrose or another brilliant thinker like him ventured too far into the unknown? What if, after creating a machine capable of peering into hidden dimensions, they simply vanished? The story begins with Penrose's undeniable brilliance. Early in his career, he invented Penrose tiling, a special way of covering a flat surface using shapes that never repeat, which revealed new mathematical patterns in nature. However, this was just the beginning of his journey into uncharted areas of science. Along with Stephen Hawking, Penrose studied black holes, which are places in space where gravity is so strong that it bends the very rules of space and time. Their work on singularities, the point where these rules completely break down, helped scientists understand how black holes work, giving them a clearer idea of how the universe is structured. Penrose did not stop at black holes. He also turned his attention to one of the greatest mysteries of all, the human mind. In his books, The Emperor's New Mind and Shadows of the Mind, Penrose argued that the human brain is much more than just a machine. He suggested that quantum physics, the branch of science that studies the tiniest particles in the universe, might hold the key to understanding how we think. He believed that human consciousness could be linked to deeper laws of the universe that scientists are only beginning to explore. This line of thought led Penrose to one of his most daring ideas, twister theory. Twister theory was his attempt to explain the fabric of reality, space and time itself. He suggested that space and time might be made up 
of hidden dimensions that we cannot see, but that still influence everything around us. These unseen dimensions, Penrose believed, could be the missing piece needed to connect two conflicting areas of science, Einstein's theory of general relativity and quantum mechanics. Both of these theories explain how the universe works, but they do not agree with each other. Penrose thought that these hidden dimensions could bridge the gap between them, offering a complete theory of how everything in the universe works. But what if these dimensions were not just abstract ideas? What if someone created a machine that could peer into these invisible realms? What if science was pushed too far? Imagine a brilliant scientist inspired by Penrose's theories who invents a device that can detect and observe beings from other dimensions, creatures that exist in planes of reality we cannot see. The scientist turns on the machine, hoping to prove that these hidden dimensions are real. But instead of seeing only the creatures, something unexpected happens. The scientist disappears without a trace. Did they step into another dimension? Were they taken by the very beings they were trying to observe? Although this sounds like science fiction, the idea is based on real scientific theories. Penrose himself came up with a theory about the universe's life cycle, which he called conformal cyclic cosmology. This theory suggests that the universe goes through endless cycles of expansion and collapse, big bangs followed by big crunches. In Penrose's view, the universe is constantly being destroyed and reborn in a never-ending loop. Could it be possible that during these cycles, there are hidden dimensions where beings live that we cannot understand? Scientists like Penrose are always pushing the boundaries of what we know, and sometimes those boundaries seem to blur with the unknown. What if these hidden dimensions are home to beings that are aware of us, just as we are trying to become aware of them? It is worth asking again. What if the parts of the universe that we cannot see are more dangerous than we think? Penrose's ideas force us to think about reality in ways that are hard to grasp. If there are extra dimensions beyond the three that we can see, what might exist in them? Could there be creatures, civilizations, or even entire worlds that follow rules so different from our own that we would not recognize them if we saw them? It is not difficult to imagine that, with the right tools, someone might try to contact these beings or explore these hidden worlds. But what if something went wrong? Could these multi-dimensional beings be hostile? Could the scientist who disappeared after creating the machine to see them have crossed a line that should never have been crossed? As with Penrose's many theories, the possibilities are endless and stretch the imagination beyond what we currently understand. Whether or not such a device could ever be built is unknown. But the idea of hidden dimensions and the possibility of other beings living within them will continue to intrigue scientists and dreamers for generations to come. As we think about the mysteries Penrose explored, we start to wonder, what if science takes us too far into things we don't understand? This leads us to the amazing ideas in string theory, where the world is much bigger than we can see with many hidden parts. We then ask, could these hidden dimensions, imagined by both Penrose and string theory, help us learn new things or bring dangers we aren't ready for? Unlocking infinite universe secrets. You see, some ideas are so complex and mind-bending that they can change the way we think about reality itself. One such concept is string theory, a revolutionary idea that suggests the smallest parts of our universe aren't tiny particles, but vibrating strings of energy. These strings don't just move in our three-dimensional world, they move in additional dimensions, spaces we can't even see or fully comprehend. While we experience three dimensions of space and one of time, string theory hints at many more hidden dimensions. Some theories propose up to 10 or even 11 dimensions. What's even more fascinating is the idea that these extra dimensions might not be empty or meaningless. In fact, they could contain entire hidden worlds 
often referred to as brain worlds. Picture a cake with several layers stacked on top of each other, each layer representing a different universe. These universes, or brain worlds, might be sitting right next to ours without us ever realizing it. Even though they occupy the same space, they don't interact with each other in any obvious way, like parallel worlds just beyond our reach. Scientists have a hard time proving these worlds exist. It's as if they're trying to listen to a far-off whisper in a noisy room. However, they keep searching for clues in places like the cosmic microwave background, which is the leftover light from the Big Bang. If these hidden dimensions and brain worlds are real, the impact on our understanding of life and the universe would be enormous. If these parallel universes or brain worlds do exist, it would mean that our universe isn't as unique as we once thought. In our universe, there are certain conditions that allow life to thrive. Oxygen, water, and just the right distance from the sun, for example. But if there are countless other universes, maybe life isn't so rare after all. Each one of these universes could have its own set of rules and possibly its own forms of life. This idea breathes new life into something called the Anthropic Principle, which suggests that life can only exist in a universe that has just the right conditions. Maybe, in the vastness of a multiverse, life is not a one-in-a-million chance, but something that happens regularly in different forms. Imagine a universe where the sky is always green, or where gravity works differently, and yet life still finds a way to adapt and evolve. One of the most famous scientists exploring these incredible ideas is Michio Kaku, a physicist born in 1947 in San Jose, California. Kaku has spent his life making difficult scientific theories, like string theory, easier for everyday people to understand. He has written books, appeared on TV shows, and given talks, all aimed at explaining the complex structure of our universe. Kaku's journey into the world of theoretical physics began with string theory. This idea proposes that the building blocks of our universe are not tiny particles, like electrons and protons, but incredibly small, vibrating strings of energy. 